What's up guys? Ivan Barnes here back with another exciting video. In today's video, we are going to be gluing together a jigsaw puzzle and framing it. So today's video is how to glue and frame a jigsaw puzzle. And for the product review, we're going to be reviewing the Yakima's Jigsaw Puzzle Glue, all right? So, um, over the holidays, we put together an awesome little puzzle. Um, it's all, it's like a map of El Segundo, kind of an El uh, illustrated map and uh, we love it we want to keep it so you know it's like you put in all this hard work on the puzzles and when they're done they're beautiful so uh, we want to go ahead and glue it and frame it so that we can appreciate that uh, that puzzle uh, as a framed piece of artwork over time so it's gonna be really cool um, so we've ordered a frame you can just look up the size of the puzzle it usually says on the puzzle bo box how big the puzzle is so then you can just go online and order a frame to match uh, so we got our frame came right here we're gonna go ahead and open up the box for the frame get into it and one of the things that I'd encourage you to do uh, when you're doing this is to uh, preserve the cardboard box that you ordered the frame in because that's going to be big enough to set your puzzle on top of when you're gluing I've heard that sometimes the glue can seep through the little jigsaw puzzle pieces um, and stick to the table so if you're not careful then your puzzle might just be stuck to the surface you're gluing it on and that would really suck. Um, so, okay, we've got our frame. We're just gonna set that aside for now. And we're gonna take out some of this styrofoam here. We just want this cardboard box to sit flat on the table. Yeah, so we'll go ahead. That looks like a good surface. And then we're gonna transfer the puzzle. I've got the puzzle down here on the ground. Um, it's on a piece that's, it's a, it's just a floppy calendar, but uh, it's supporting it. So yeah, you see that? This is the awesome puzzle. We're just going to go ahead and sit that right on top of the cardboard. Slide this out. Go ahead and restore a piece here. And then you, I'm sure you want to have everything nice and flat all your puzzle pieces together. Okay. All right, so here's a look at the puzzle. We're, I'm just cutting around, getting some of the plastic off. Okay, there we go. It came out. Oh, and that's kind of cool. Can you see that? On the top is just like this little sponge here. So I imagine what we do, we could probably just Go ahead and shake it. It's not really coming out. So, let's see, let's troubleshoot here. Pry it open. Okay. All right, I see it in, whoa! Do you see that? Okay, shot out a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna take this goo, this extra, goo that I'm gonna dab the little sponge in there and just start applying it to the surface of the puzzle and that's probably yeah I think we can just uh squeeze it like that I'm just gonna do strips and then I'm just gonna work it into the puzzle back and forth I think it's important that you just make sure you work it all in so that it's nice and smooth. It'll be a smooth layer on top. I'm squeezing the bottle as I go. You see that? I'm squeezing it, some more material is coming out. And then I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna do some nice long strokes here just to get it all smooth. Make sure we don't have too much like excess material, excess glue on there. But yeah, I can see some cracks here in the puzzle that you'll be glad you put a uh, piece of cardboard or something down underneath the puzzle. 
Another idea I just had would be to like move it a little bit as it's drying so that the bottom of the puzzle doesn't get too, uh, you know, stuck to the cardboard. So you might want to move it a little bit. Like when you're frying an egg, you want to kind of move the pan so the egg doesn't cook down to the pit. Same concept. Oh, this is pretty easy though. This is nice, uh, going on nice. I like this little sponge applicator here. This thing is pretty awesome. I thought this job would be a lot more messy. Um, I'm wishing I had a paper towel right now, so I'd advise having a paper towel on hand just to uh, help clean up the mess. How's it going? Okay. Okay, so I really, I think I've got enough. In fact, might have a little bit too much on here, but um, one thing you'll, uh, that I've got, um, you can use, you can use like an old credit card. I've just got an old, um, ski pass right here up to mountain high, shout out mountain high. I'm just going to use this pass to smooth out, smooth any excess material. Ooh, you see that coming off there. It's kind of a lot. I'm going to go grab a paper towel. Okay. I'm back with a paper towel just because I do have, there's a lot of, uh, extra material here extra glue on top. I'm just going to wipe it down like that. Work, work all the way across. Nice and smooth. There we go. And it is a little sticky. It's a little messy, but uh, I mean, what do you expect? Anytime you're working with glue, it's going to be a little bit sticky. But to be honest, it's not not so bad. All right, I'm just going to wipe up some of this extra glue from the perimeter. And then... Uh, Leave it right there, but I think we've got it pretty good. I'm just gonna get down and see if I can see any, yeah, like a little extra there. Get down on the surface level of your puzzle and you can see if you have any extra material. Looking good. Oh uh, yeah, sweet. Okay, a few final strokes here and boom, I think we're good. All right guys, so I just went, I washed my hands off. Um, I grabbed a couple extra paper towels here just to wipe down the edges um, a little bit where I got a little extra glue. Um, but we've covered the whole surface of the puzzle and from what I understand, you, you only have to do one side of the puzzle. You don't have to glue the back side and the front. I think everything is going to go ahead and, uh, you know, bond here on the front. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's looking pretty good. I see a couple areas that I want to just go over one more time. just to get the excess material off.
And by using a card like this, it pushes that glue down into the cracks as well. So um, I think you, you do, you're gonna wanna come with some kind of uh, squeegee-like thing. Again, just like a credit, old credit card, a bank card, ID, old seasons pass. Works great. All right, we've covered the whole board. And now we just wait. We're gonna go ahead, um, I'll give it a few hours. Some, some puzzle glues say, you know, to give it like 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours, but this one uh, says quick drying. Unlike other jigsaw glue, we dry in one to two hours. So rest assured that it will hang up soon. Okay, so we'll go ahead and come back in about two hours and we'll frame it. All right, Boom. guys, and we are back. It has been two hours and the glue has definitely seeped through, but I'm just going around on the edges here and trying to, trying to like lift it up a little bit. I think what I'll do is take this card here and just slide around. There we go, there we go. It's definitely, the glue has set. All right, let's try to do this. All the way around. This piece is really stuck. Oh, there we go, okay. Okay. All right, so. It's looking good here. All right, so the next step here would just be to frame it. We've got our frame, as you can see, this is an 18 by 24 to match the dimensions of the puzzle. Let's go ahead and just get this open. Careful not to puncture that. Just take off the protective film. Okay, and we'll just take out the backing here. These things are easy, they just slide like that when I'm doing the framing. And then that kind of just comes out like so. Okay, and then there's a sticker here. Remove protective film on both sides. So, okay, that's the protective film. And it says there's a protective film on this side as well. So you can just scrape that with your fingernail. Okay, and then this is comes off. And then this is cover. Okay, so this is the back of the frame is facing up. We're gonna put the little, the glass here. It's like a plexiglass in place. And then we'll take our puzzle We'll put our puzzle like this. It's been so nicely glued. Facing down. Boom, great fit again. That's how it works. Face down. And then, lastly, we'll come in with the backing. And again, you wanna check. Okay, these two hooks right here, it's gonna be hanging this way. So that's gonna be the top of the puzzle. So then we're gonna put it in like so, and then you just twist these right back into place, these little tabs. And this is gonna be exciting. Are you guys ready for it? Ta-da! All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Gundo. 
Nice. All right, and boom, there it is. The final product. We have it, the frame jigsaw puzzle. All glued in place and looking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, jigsaw puzzles are a lot of fun, but uh, don't just put all that hard work back in the box. I mean, it's fun to do jigsaw puzzles, you know, again, or give them to other people. But if you do one that you really like, you might want to consider using the, the, the Yakima's jigsaw puzzle glue. It did wonders here. It was completely dry in two hours. I could pick the puzzle up, got it all framed up nicely, and uh, you know, this can go on the wall. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe for more awesome how-to and product reviews, and we'll see you in the next video.